what's up guys and welcome back to the channel so today is going to be a little bit something different so you guys know i've been a painter for about 26 years now and through the years in the body shop sometimes you have highs and you have lows and the jobs will sometimes get stalled over in the body shop and us painters will be waiting on them so sometimes you have to do different things in order to catch back up to keep your workflow going and that's coming in on the weekend but you guys know i like to stay home and do my own thing on the weekend and that's most of the time I work just on the five day work week and I'm always off on the weekend. But sometimes you do have to come in in order to catch back up. That way when you come in on a Monday, you're not playing catch up. So here we are on a Saturday. I'm gonna show you guys what I do. That way when I come in on Monday, I'll be ready to roll and I won't be waiting on nobody and I won't have any problems waiting on primer to dry and stuff like that. So we're gonna do a little bit of a cleanup day here and show you how I like to do it to set yourself up for that Monday. That way you don't come in on the blind. So this here is a Subaru and this job ended up coming over late on Friday. So we started prepping on it, getting it staged as much as I could on what I had, but this hood had to be primed. It was a used hood. So we primed that late in the day and I already had sanded this. So we're gonna get this one here staged up for Monday. We got a little cut in to do. I'm bagging it up now and then I'm going to show you guys some other stuff that I'm going to do that way I can get myself caught up for Monday and I don't come in, you know, uh, backpedaling. So let's go ahead. We're going to bag this one up real quick and then you guys hang with me here on the Saturday. I'm going to show you what I would do to get that much uh, further ahead. That way we're not slacking. So let's do it. All right, guys. So we already put the bag on this car. And now I'm gonna finish just taping it up here real quick. I just have to wrap around this little cut in area that we did. That way I could spray everything at one time and uh, save time that way. So I don't like to cut in cars. I like to paint everything at once. That way I'm done with the job. So watch me here as I finish taping this up and then we're gonna go over to a couple other jobs and that way we get caught up for Monday. All right, guys, we got all the parts in the booth now. We got the fender, we got the little hood scoop, we got the bumper, the hood, and the rest of the job here with the cut in taped up and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this one down and then close up the booth. That way this one here is ready to go. When I come in here, all I know I gotta do to this booth here is fine line this bumper and then tack it and get ready to roll. So you guys know it's not good to leave the fine line on these parts for a long time because it likes to curl up. So I'll wash this whole job down and then I'll save that fine line and attack job for Monday morning. That way when I come in, I'll close this booth up nice and tight. I'll blow it, tack it, check it over, make sure everything is good and fine line that bumper and then I'll be ready to roll. So. Just one way to get everything staged up and be that much better off for a Monday rather than to come in on the blind trying to scramble to get a paycheck. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing wiped down real quick and then move on to our next step of what I do to try to get caught up nice and uh, from a slump of the body shop business. I will wipe it down and I always wipe my blend panels off first so this here is my blends and while your rag is the cleanest instead of bringing all that dirt around on your blend panel clean your blend panels off first and I like to go to my cleanest parts after the blend and then I go to my dirtiest parts last so let's go ahead and wipe this one down and get it ready and this is the waterborne I already uh, wax and grease this car outside before I brought it in the booth so if you're gonna wax and grease it again I like to use my waterborne again after the wax and grease because to me it cuts down on the static and definitely gets you less static on the parts so we're just wiping it down now with our waterborne and then we'll uh, get this booth all closed up for Monday Thank you. 
All right, guys, this one's all clean and ready to go. I even blowed it off a little bit and make sure all the dirt's out of all the cracks. So now all I gotta do is come in, tack it, fine line the bumper here, and get rolling. So let's close this booth up and move on to our next step. All right, guys, this here's the next one we're gonna get ready. We're gonna prime this one up. We put a new quarter on this. We got a couple areas that have the uh, Bondo on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up here and we'll get this thing primed up too. And then we also have a used hood. You guys know how them used hoods come from the junkyard. And this one's definitely got a couple different layers of paint on it. So we're gonna sand this thing down, get this thing primed up, because this is the bumper for that hood. It's just a nice new raw bumper. So once I get that hood primed up, all we gotta do on this one is hit it with a gray scuff pad, do our little uh, prep for the raw plastic and then uh, get it in the booth. So we're gonna get that thing bagged up and let's get this thing primed up. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is cover up the holes. That way we don't get anything in this. So we'll back tape it and I'll go ahead and run a bag right over the top of this thing. That way we know we're good on any overspray. So right now we're just gonna back tape it We'll run around it, get it ready, sand the areas for the prime, and then go ahead and get it primed up. So just watch here as I bag it up. All right, we're all outlined. Now we'll run the bag over the top, cut out the areas, and sand it down and get it prepped up. Once you get it cut, go ahead and peel out your plastic. Once it's bagged up now, we'll go around, tighten up some of the holes, get it tightened up, and then we'll buzz it down and uh, get it prepped up for the uh, prime. All right, now you got it all ready. We'll sand it, clean it, and get it primed up. So this is the best way of doing it for primer. That way you know you're not gonna get any overspray on any of the vehicle, especially when you're doing these higher areas up here like this, there's a chance you could overspray the roof, but not when it's bagged up. So I like to use the bag. So let's buzz it and finish this thing up. All right, we got it all blown off. Now we're gonna use our wax and grease. I like to use a solvent when I do the primer. That way, if it gets on the bare metal, it's not gonna cause any kind of a problem. So use your glove, make sure you have a glove on and go ahead and prep saw it. We also gotta buzz this hood down. That way we prime everything at the same time. So let's get this thing sanded down real quick. And I'm buzzing this down with a 400 DA. All right, the hood's all sanded down and we got some bare metal on this also. So we're gonna go ahead and use our etch wipes. You guys know I showed you these in one other video. They're a wipe that etches it so you don't have to spray any type of etch primer on. Really nice time saver and it's just a cloth. So we'll wipe it on, I'll show you that right now. Make sure you have a glove, fold it nice and easy and just hit it on your bare metal spots. Give it a little bit of time to dry. And then you can come right back in and hit it with your 2K. So this 2K I'm using isn't a DTM. You can prime over bare metal areas. Minimal bare metal area is recommended. But with this here, I'll go ahead and etch it. That way I know we do it the right way. So we just hit our etch metal areas with it that are broke through and uh, this is be treated the right way. So go ahead and put it on. We'll wait about 10 minutes, let it dry, and then we'll uh, hit it with our 2K and we'll be set up nicer for Monday. So 
these are the little things you can do even though it sucks because it's a saturday or you got to stay late to do these things sometimes but it's only going to benefit you because you work for your own paycheck so don't get mad even me sometimes i get mad during the week when i'm waiting on work and it just doesn't flow the right way but sometimes you just have to suck it up come in because you work for yourself and you're only hurting yourself so come in get ahead and uh now when i come in on monday i'll have that much more done and i'll be set up so i won't be backpedaling so we etched it we'll let it dry we'll come in we'll 2k it hang tight all right we got our 3m gun and we're going to go ahead and prime it now we're using the p30 and uh, we're going to put two coats on on this one here we're just going to do the areas there's no need to prime this because it's a brand new part so we're just going to hit our spots and then on the hood we'll prime the whole hood on this one so let's go ahead and get it primed up All right, the hood's all primed. We put two coats on this one, and then we put two coats on our repair areas on this here where the quarter was seamed up. So now this thing is ready. It'll sit overnight. It'll dry up nice. We can come in Monday morning and get it all ready to go. So even though I have the capabilities with this P30 to be able to block this primer in 15 to 20 minutes, it's still always better to let it sit as long as you can. So now we know we have a better repair with a good preparation on it and now we'll be that much ahead for monday morning so let's go see what we actually accomplished we got this primed we got the hood primed we got that other one bagged because this here job has a new lift gate it has a blend on the rear door and a new bumper so now when i get here i could start right on this job i don't have any primer no repair areas just ready to roll once I want to come in on Monday to get going on it. So first thing Monday, I'm going to start on that hood and that raw bumper I showed you. But we have this one staged. So as soon as I get here in the morning, I'll fine line that, tack it, start sealing this. And in between coats, I'll go ahead and get that hood sanded down, that raw bumper prepped. And I'll have that one over in that other booth in about a half hour. So this is the stuff sometimes you have to do in the paint world. So to get caught back up because sometimes when that wheel stops and you don't get a consistent flow of work, sometimes in order to, to get bounced back, you have to do these things. So I'm willing to do it because I want to have my goals met for what I want to do with myself. So hope you guys liked it. Just a little bit of a day of, in the life of a painter when the production slows down a little bit and you got to get caught back up. So we'll see you on the next one, guys.